free, live free, speak your peace Stay humble, stay humble in these streets, yeah These are absolutely sublime Sublime Twinings, cold infused and brief This one is pomegranate, pommy, pomegranate, pomegranate Elderflower and lemon balm And it's fantastic Absolutely fantastic And if you're like me and you drink a lot of water throughout the day Having some infusion and just a little bit of flavour, especially on prep when you're crying out for flavour. Um, these are really good. I recently just purchased one of these water filters because I drink so much water, like six, sometimes more litres a day. Um, and to get that much bottled water is going to be very expensive. I don't really like tap water, whereas this just filters it, keeps it cold in the fridge. So when you're ready to go, you just bang your water in, your flavour as well. And um, it's just a nice little flavour kick throughout the day. You heard it here first. Twinings. Full day of eating today, um, full day of rest day eating in particular. We have already boxed off the morning walk, I've done my morning cardio, supplements have been taken, I've also just purchased a couple of bits from the supermarket. Couple of bits! Couple of bits! Who is that? Who was that? Mickey Flanagan. Mickey Flanagan. Uh, so yeah, got a few bits from Sainsbury's, um, also got some veggies from the market and also got my meat from the butcher. The butchers in Milner are fantastic because they already like, I just ring them when I'm on my way and they vacuum pack all the chicken and weigh it out into my portions. So they are brilliant. My calories, I've actually just had my first calorie drop this prep. Um, so calories have been floating around just under 3,000, well about, at about 2, eight, about 2,800 on rest days. They're now 2,500, so quite a significant drop. Um, I've ran this for a couple of rest days now and I have noticed a difference. We're 15 weeks out and we just want consistent fat loss now. We want to see it coming down visually. So this is just going to help to keep us in that deficit across the board of the whole week. Appetite's in a fairly decent place at the moment. I'm at the position now where I've got an appetite, but it's very manageable. And um, it's actually quite a nice appetite because for such a long period of time, I just haven't enjoyed eating. Whereas now I'm actually kind of spicing my foods up and making them you know very very nice and flavorful and i'm actually enjoying milk so it's quite a nice place to be ask me about three weeks time and i probably won't have the the same outlook so guys I actually fast throughout the morning so i'll get my cardio done i'll get my majority of the steps for that day done and then i'll come and have meal one completely fasted and by the time i have that meal one it's actually about i mean it's about 10 30 now um and the reason for that is just purely for the fact that I'm running a few like politics, which are gonna basically help with aid in that fat loss process. Um, and just eating food is gonna blunt that process out. So essentially what we're doing is we're having that fasted window and waiting that period of time before eating that first meal. And that's just helping with that fat loss process. So by the time I eat that first meal, I am pretty ravenous. So the first meal going down today, now before I get into it, I'm doing something that I've never done before in a prep, and that is macro tracking. Now, I'm not completely macro tracking. I still have a structured food plan, which I follow. But just every now and then, if I feel like swapping a food source around, and I'll talk you through it as I do it today, I will do that. Now, three, four years ago, me would have laughed at that and said, you know, it's not hardcore enough. But ultimately, if you're still sticking to your energy balance, your calories, your macronutrients are still the same, your protein, your carbs, your fats, if you're just swapping and changing a few foods out here and there just to give it a bit more creativity to satiate the palate, which is gonna be really important when appetite ramps up. And as long as you're educated enough to know the sort of foods you need to be eating, then it's a very, very useful tool. Now, when I'm against it is when people will like starve themselves all day so they can just smash in a load of cookies in the evening. Like that's not gonna fuel and aid your performance, your recovery, etc. But when you use it in a, in a good way, when you're savvy about it and you just use it to just kind of keep yourself eating nice, flavorful foods, it's a very, very useful tool, and it's one that has helped me significantly so far. And there will be people that will argue, you know, it's not hardcore, but you know, we'll just um, we'll just out condition them on the day. Anyway, guys, so first meal up is turkey mince. Now, sometimes I have this with almond butter, almond butter, almond butter. So I say almond butter. People laugh at me. Almond butter, almonds, almonds. Almonds. Um, so first meal is normally turkey mince, vegetables, and almond butter, but I am going to sub that today. So here's my first example. I'm gonna pour the almond butter out and replace it for feta cheese and an egg. Just because it's, I just fancy an egg today, so I'm gonna have an egg. Um, anyway, I'm gonna prepare the meal now and I'll, I'll talk you through it. What are you doing? You got a stick? You got a stick? <laughs> you got a stick? <laughs> 
It's <laughs> a fence. This spray, by the way, Fry Light, it's um, basic coconut oil and um, it's one calorie. One calorie. So just a few sprays of that. It's going to be better than using something like a, an oil. I mean, you can use like an olive oil as long as you keep a consistent amount throughout your diet. It's all relative, it doesn't really matter, but I just like knowing that this isn't gonna take away from my calorie intake. So the macronutrients of this meal, if I'm really savvy, I'll like put it up on the screen. If I get annoyed because I can't do it, then that won't happen, but I might do that. So not a massive meal, the overall calories are like 285, um, which means we get more eating throughout the rest of the day. But also just protein fat, and this basically helps because we're not getting that spike of insulin. So from an appetite perspective, it's gonna be more advantageous just to have protein and fat in that first meal. So meal one going down now, this one goes down very nicely. Obviously the first one after that long fast, consume this, then I'll go upstairs, get a good amount of work done. We've got some check-ins to do today. Um, then we'll have meal two in a couple of hours. And then just the timing of the meal is obviously pushing that first meal back means means we've now got a smaller window of time to get those meals in. So really I need to be eating every two and a half, three hours now, um, which obviously as appetite starts to ramp up, it's gonna Brownstone buildings with the kids on the porch. Murals on the walls for the ones that we lost. Bodegas on the corner, let me see what's in store. Subway stations with the maps in the cars. Summer cookouts, uncle got the sandals on. Statue of Liberty, we hold. So welcome to meal two. It's been a while, how you been? So meal two is basmati rice, cod, veggies, and pineapple. And this is a good meal. It's a tasty meal. Um, Oscar also gets some cod. He gets the leftover cod and he's now currently waiting to be told that he can have his portion. Go on in. Good boy, good boy. So that's meal two. Obviously the first meal with carbohydrates. Well done if you noticed that. Carbohydrates are now in the mix. Um, and they're plentiful, you know, we've got some slow, slow absorbing carbohydrates with the rice here. And obviously we also have the, uh, the fast absorbing carbohydrates with the uh, pineapple. Pineapple, fun fact, pineapple actually contains an enzyme called bromelain or bromelain or however you'd like to pronounce it. It's very, very good for the transportation of protein and other nutrients, but in particular protein. So it's a good addition. It tastes nice. It hits the palate. It's a nice bit of sweetness and uh, this is more too. This is meal two, it's about 1.30. Um, I'll put the macros up on the screen, maybe, I might not. And that is meal two. So I'm gonna eat this, then we're gonna go on a walk in the forest, and then by the time I get back, probably have to do a little bit more work and then have meal three. So we're gonna have meal three now, a little bit sooner, and then we're gonna go for walk two of the day. So it's about half three, basically just because Kirsty's doing some decorating. So walk gets pushed out, pushed back a little bit later. Cream of rice, uh, this is a good meal. This is a really good meal. It's simple, doesn't take long to cook, and it's, it's tasty. Um, so we're gonna have cream of rice, 20 grams of dark chocolate, some raspberries, some blueberries, and uh, vegan protein. So I've actually switched to vegan protein. So I'll show you the cream of rice and the protein that I'm currently using. This is the protein, this is from JP, and this is maple, and this is, this is my favorite flavor so far. I've tried pretty much every flavor, but this one absolutely bangs. The vegan protein, just because I was having a few digestive issues with whey, so we've got the vanilla almond chai. This is from JP as well, and um, that's fantastic. A lot of people struggle to cook cream of rice, but this is literally the easiest way. Just in a pan, get a whisk, lot, like drown it in water, and just slowly cook it. It takes a bit longer, but if you've got the time, you can do it from home. This is um, definitely the best way to prepare it, and it just comes out nice and smooth. So there we go, that is meal three. So you've got that 80 grams of cream of rice with the vegan whey, the dark chocolate, which is in there somewhere, and 75 grams of berries, raspberries, 75 grams of blueberries. So we'll go to this meal now, and then we'll go for a walk. And we've got two more meals to go after that. Second walk of the day, a little bit later than anticipated because Kirsty's been painting. Sun's going down, that's a nice sunset. 
it's a nice sunset. So Oscar gets his second walk, um, and here we'll just ramp up the rest of the steps, get about another, well this is about a 4,000 stepper, so that's probably gonna equate to about 9,000 total, and then the rest will just get around the house, walking to and back from the fridge. So yeah, we'll get this one in, then I've got one more, one more, no, two more meals, got meal four, which is like a smaller meal, so I can have a big, tasty bowl of oats in the evening. So we'll get this boxed off now, let Oscar have a run around, and then get back in the kitchen. So this is the air fryer. So that's the air fryer. We've just got 170 grams of chicken in there, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and it's the most fantastical, amazing all thing, amazing thing that I've ever, ever used. It's actually Kirsty's, and um, it fries, it tastes like fried chicken, but it's not fried. Oh no, it's not fried. We're not gonna fry things on prep, are we? It's just air fried. I'll be honest, I don't really know the mechanisms behind how this thing works, but all I know is it is absolutely fantastic. A game changer in prep. Um, it, will, it will change your whole life. It will change your whole entire life. You can do air fried potato chips, so you can literally chop up potatoes, bang, you've got chips. Um, they actually taste better than normal chips. You can do your chicken, you can do, Kirsty does a whole load of other stuff as well. So that's the best thing ever. Ninja air fryer, I haven't got a discount code, I'm afraid. This meal is a little bit lighter, and what I do, a little bit crafty, what I do is I reduce the carbs in this meal so I can have a, a bigger meal in the evening when I know appetite's gonna be up, I'm gonna be sat there in front of the telly winding down. I'd rather have a nice big bowl of oats. So this meal is just a salad. Um, it's literally just a salad. It's really tasty though, it's really tasty. Um, and I'll tell you what, I do love a salad. I do love a salad, especially on prep and appetite's high. Um, so I'm gonna take you through and show you the, the best salad that you've ever, ever seen in your whole life. Um, probably exaggerating a little bit, but this is a good salad. So when it comes to a decent salad, you've got to have textures. So I like some of these little soft duck leaves and then some of the crunchy ones. Then we've got the tomatoes. We've got these little sprouts, which are pretty sexy. Um, and then we've got the crunchy pick. Now these are, these are, without a doubt, the best thing on the planet. Because if you like me and you like, I like anything pickled, anything, most things. Um, and these are fantastic because they just give you like that burst of flavor. It just fills the palate and it's just magical. It's fantastic, especially on prep. They're very, very, very low calories. In fact, I think they're so low, they actually give you calories back. Um, but no, they, they are calories. So I do, I do track them in. Obviously you've got the barcode so you can just boop, scan them into MyFitnessPal, which is cool. Um, but yeah, there we go. We've got the textures, we've got the flavors, we've got the aromas and a little bit of feta cheese as well. I'm, I'm a fan of feta cheese, I really am. You know, as if you, you probably you probably guessed that already. Um, I could literally just eat this whole bar. I won't, because that's like a week's worth of fats right now. But, um, and then pesto, this is the lighter, the lighter pesto from, from Sainsbury's. Um, again, very low calories, but we do track it in, we track everything in. And that has literally took eight minutes. And that is how it comes out. Look at that. Look at it. Mm. Mm -hmm. These these are just salt and vinegar. If you if you know you know, we, we don't need to go into it. You know we don't we don't need to talk about the flavors, the textures. If you know you know, these just bang differently, differently. These are really really good because like if you've got a few carbs left over, you just throw a snacker jack in. You know, and they're just brilliant. You know, they're, they're just there, they're waiting. You know, they, they won't judge you. They won't judge you. You know, if, if you need them, they're there. If you don't, you know, they're still there. I don't mean to blow my own trumpet here, but I can do a salad. I can, I can prepare a mean salad. I feel like if I was a trump card, on the top of the skill section, it would just say salads or good salads. Anyway, I'm going to stop chatting shit and go eat this salad. <laughs> So yeah, this is meal four, slad, and just a couple of snacker jacks, just to get some little carbs in there. So guys, last meal, going in, um, it's like half nine. Oats, oats, we're gonna have some raspberries. These frozen raspberries, by the way, are an absolute game changer because 
you can get hella raspberries. Like 100 grams of raspberries is like minus four calories. 10 grams of dark chocolate, that is a, a measly amount of dark chocolate. A measly amount. And then 15 grams of peanut butter, this whole earth peanut butter is fantastic. Um, 15 grams, 100 grams of oats, and that is it. Um, and this will pretty much be the last thing. We're gonna go watch some Netflix, chill out, and then go to bed in about an hour, hour and a half. We're currently watching The One. The One or One or something like that. But um, I've got to show you this kid. I have got to show you him. He sits in the weirdest places. Oh, he's just moved. Are you right there, bud? <laughs> I realize that like my whole YouTube is just Oscar in different places. Um, yeah, The One, it's really good. We're just about to watch the last episode. Um, so you've got Netflix. Of course you got Netflix. Um, it's good, we're hooked. Hooked on it. But yeah, that's the episode, guys. Um, thank you for joining me for the second, no, third instalment of the Comeback series. Yeah, hopefully you liked it, guys. As always, any questions, just drop them in the comments box and um, I'll see you for the next instalment of the series. Peace.